Okay, some bad news. I was messing around last night and this one hit the floor. Well, so did the other one, but this one sustained some damage here. And unlucky for me, the way this sets, this is right at the infeed side of the uh, router bit opening. So I've got to cut this back. I'm going to take it back a half an inch. And I'm going to cut back the other one a half an inch. Both of them are going to get cut back a half an inch. Okay, correction made. And one thing I like to do after I uh, laminate my um, edges or my boards is take the edge and just hit it with a file take that sharp edge because those things are sharp. These have already all been done but this one here, this fresh cut and that's all it takes. Okay big picture here. I've got my, uh, my the uh, bottom of my fence pieces marked here and they're up against the drill table fence centered up and in line for my first set of holes. So I've got the center hole marked here and I want to drill through my laminate. I don't want to have this on the bottom, it'll punch out. And then I can slide it over, drill this hole, then I uh, will flip it over, but I've got to rearrange it in this case so that the laminate is backed up by the bottom piece there and then drill this this hole. So that's what we have to do and then I've got to reset my stops for this set of, pe of uh, for this set of, of uh, parts for the other side of the fence and, uh, and drill those. Okay, so there's my first set, and then I'll drill my other uh, set. But the one thing I do need to do is these holes here on this side have to get expanded to just over a quarter inch and then countersunk, and I'll do that later. So now, there we go, that gives me access just large enough for my uh, hex key so it'll keep me in line when I go to change it out. You'll see in a minute when I have this thing assembled how that's going to work. That's perfect. Now we can glue them up. Okay, before I bolt this together, I want to make absolutely positively sure that this thing is going to fit. So you can see I've got a little bit of play there, and it's going to be just fine. 
Um, all holes were drilled the same, so the other side I'm confident is going to work as well. The other thing I want to do is um, I also want to have these things, you know, basically threaded tight because I'm not going to be able to put them back in there. Or I, it'll be very difficult to put them back in there, I guess I'll put it that way. Because there's just not going to be enough room. So that's, I'm going to leave those in, threaded tight. I've got to get one more here, but uh, then I've got, to, I've got to pull a measurement here because I've got to build this box yet out here. So I got to, I've got to cut those three pieces as well. All right, I got it uh, dry clamped. And um, this dimension, when I drew it up on my computer, was supposed to be an inch and a quarter. Well, in reality, it's 1.22. So it's uh, 30 thousandths under, which no big deal, but pretty darn close. So uh, that that's because these were just my dados were just a hair deeper. But anyway, you can see the truss system now, and the strength and the the way this is just going to square itself up is going to be just perfect. So I want the reason I want this dimension is I want to be able to build this box out here with that same dimension so that this doesn't get you know warped out of shape. I don't want it too small and pull it tight this way or too big and push it out. So 1.22 is what I'm going to shoot for. What I'll do is cut them and put the piece in between the... I'll, I'll put the piece in here and make sure it's a good slide fit and then uh, then cut it into the, the three sections I need. Okay, I got my piece cut. I like the dimension of it. It's a nice fit. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out my rough cut. I'm going to hold it flush to the bottom of my top truss piece there. Make this mark. And then I'm going to take this and push it through here. Get another rough cut here. And then I'm going to take this and put it this way and get a rough cut for my my bottom piece here. Alright, now you get the idea what we're shooting here for, or what we're shooting for. So that's, uh, that piece is good. This piece I got lucky. It's, it's perfect. So I'll just mount that flush or glue that flush to the top. This piece will butt up against it, and this piece will butt up against the top. So I'm all set to uh, glue it up. And then what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to trim these flush with a flush trim saw. So I'll have a nice, nice fit there. One down, uh, one to go. And I wanted to tell you about the way I glued this up. Um, I started in the center and tightened the, the two and then added two and then added two. Effectively uh, squeezing the glue out this way so that there doesn't end up being any uh, undulations, I guess, in the, especially in this outside piece. But I tightened them down. I got good glue squeeze out coming out this way. Then I went back and retightened them and even got a little bit more. Okay, here's the uh, outfeed side. And with these pieces up here, I just placed them, put some glue on them and placed them. Did a little rub fit, you know, and uh, they stayed nice and nice and true to where they want they should be. So, like I said earlier, I'll just trim these off flush, and then I'll be good to go. There she is. It looks really solid. And this is one change. I'm glad I made making this hole the perfect diameter. You can see how your wrench just kind of sits right in there. When you bring that up to that screw, it it just like it's automatically finding it for you. It's 
So that's going to be really nice. That was one thing I made. Uh, was a little frustrated with with my other setup was that I drilled these holes. I think they were by a quarter of an inch. So I I always had to try and kind of search and find that screw. But with these mashed holes, that just drops right into the finds that screw um, socket head screw hole just perfect. I got a little too excited here. I've got to make this rabbit cut yet back here so that this thing will sit up flush. So I've made a mark with my pencil here on this edge and I'm just going to say that it's got to be uh, about a quarter of an inch deep. So I'll set my dado blade up, make my, make my cut on both pieces and then uh, we will finally be good to go. Now on the on the other one, I'm gonna, it's going to have to be a stop dado cut. This one, I'll, I'll just make it all the way through. Okay, if you remember, I loaded this uh, both fences up with bolts. You can see the, the other one here. I had to uh, take the nuts off, I will, and I'll take them off this one as well. But the bolts are still in there. They're just pushed back up into the piece and I'm, I'm going to make the dado off the outside edge so that there's I don't think there's any danger of the bolts falling in here anyway but uh, this way uh, with the cut edge being right near the the edge of my insert and the open space out here I don't have any chance of a bolt kind of vibrating through and dropping down into the blade. Should have set up a stop block probably to do this one, but I was able to get a nice, nice finish there. So now we can uh, 
Get our bolts back through here. Load them up and then we'll there. Now we'll now we'll be able to see how it, how it works. Just give me a moment here. <laughs> 